Hey there, beer fans. I am drinking Yaver from these new half liter cans. It's been several years since I've had this beer. I really liked it when they would send it here more often. It, would, it was in six packs of green bottles. So it was always like, you know, a little skunky, but very good, very hoppy, um, dry North German Pilsner style. <clears throat> really refreshing, pale. Um, it's 4.9% alcohol. Now, if I'm reading the dating right, I think it was canned August of 2021, 20, or maybe July. They, they do the, the day, month, year for a lot of European dating on cans. But they put the Best Buy date as then October of this year. But I wish it was a little fresher, obviously, especially because, like, I feel like they just started sending these cans over. Um, I first heard about them being shipped here like in a month ago. Maybe I'll be able to get fresher cans, but what's cool is that they're in the can, so it's not going to be skunky, um, most likely. And it's cheaper. The, the, the six packs of bottles back in the day, yeah, even like five years ago, were like, or longer, seven years ago, were like 13 bucks. This is like nine. <clears throat> and they're half liter cans, so not a bad deal, assuming that it is still in good shape. And very pale, you can see. Very light straw, very clear, ample carbonation. Probably filtered. Oh, there are some tiny little chunks. Yeah, there are actually quite a few chunks in there. That tells you kind of maybe how hoppy it is, but also that it's kind of old. Head looks pretty good. It smells pretty good, but yeah, I'm sure it would be a lot more be a lot better if it was a little fresher than this um but we'll see how enjoyable it's drink yeah really nice looking head really thick <clears throat> very well made i mean it has a lot of that nice lemongrass very crisp crackery very clean quality with just a little bit of some kind of old dusty minerality maybe or something and very herbal Kind of grassy, maybe. I mean, yeah, lemongrass. Doesn't quite get to iced tea. I don't know if there's a green tea thing happening. Not, maybe a little bit. Mm. <laughs> it's just so dry. It's like the driest. Um, <clears throat> like European math produced pilsner i think i don't know if this brewery is uh what their ownership exactly is this is made in germany imported by raven import company and there's no hop extract in this this is just water barley malt and hops um a lot of bigger brewers use use hop extract which can be good a lot of craft brewers are using hop extract and other kinds of hot products it's not evil but you're not getting a lot of aroma just from using bittering hop extract that just will you know keep the beer good for a long time i very dry there there is kind of a unique crackery malt thing but it's like really hoppy oily like the first sip dried out my tongue a lot <clears throat> Really, and the head's sticking around really well. Um, high carb, but it's not too carbed. Mm. Quite light body, but yeah, that it's getting in, into what I like to call stinky floral territory, like those flowers and <clears throat> herbs that just like are almost, I don't know garlicky or something or bo like or just like those some certain flowers that just smell kind of bad <laughs> um but i like that it just kind of it's getting into i guess it's getting close to cannabis type stuff uh in a way which you usually think only think like oh that's american hops and you know new wave intense hops um but you know if you use a huge amount you can do this it, like this reminds me a bit of like tars bulba Duranka Double X Bitter, which sadly I haven't had that long time. I don't have Tarth Bulba that often. To um, Belgian 
Belgian pale ales that are very, very hoppy. And this is like getting close to those and got a nice rocky, foamy head. Mm. Well, this is the kind of pilsner that you want <clears throat> in the summertime. Hopefully the, the the first shipment of this gets sold and they send some fresher stuff. But this is definitely definitely still um, enjoyable package it well and it's not skunked but this is one where you, you take this out in this direct sunlight um, and it'll be skunky within probably five to ten minutes mm. yeah if people if, if anyone can drink this and be like pale lagers are boring they're not hoppy and don't like them like this is this is a standout like come i don't see how someone couldn't drink drink this and be like pale lagers all taste the same like this is so far from anything like Budweiser, so, mar so far from most American Pilsners. Um, it's, almost, it's, got, it's almost a little like coarse. Um, <clears throat> and, it's, and it's just super duper clean yeast wise. Like there's nothing, I can't, like I'm not getting lager sulf sulfuric weird stuff, nothing. It's just like really, this is just what German, German Pilsner, North German Pilsner is all about. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and, and it's kind of hard to find beers that display probably just German hops. It's probably just like how it got middle fruit. <clears throat> I didn't really look it up, but it's probably just like that um, to the next level. <clears throat> I wonder how many pounds per barrel they use. It's probably, I mean, still not a lot, but it's contri contributing quite a bit of bitterness for the low alpha acids of noble hops like that. Um, but yeah, this is a 4.25 beer, even at this age. Um, be, of course, awesome if I could go to Europe and have this like unpasteurized fresh on tap or something. Um, but I'm really glad they're shipping this here and I'd highly recommend it.